Shalom Eladim. We are now ready to learn the eighth parasha in Sefer Shemot. Last week we learned how Hashem asked Moshe to build a mishkan, a bet keneset of sort, a place for the Jewish people to pray in the desert, something that temporary that travels. Now we need a rabbi for the mishkan. That rabbi was going to be called the Kohen Gadol. And who of all people is going to be the Kohen Gadol? No, not Moshe. Not Moshe. Actually, this was a very interesting, a very interesting story. A couple of weeks ago, we learned how Moshe saw a burning bush. And at the burning bush, Hashem spoke to him and told him to tell Parot, let my people go. And Moshe kept on trying to say no and no, and they won't listen to me, Paro won't listen to me. And the last thing Moshe said was, Hashem, I have an older brother. His name is Aharon. And Aaron is going to be jealous if he hears that his little brother is going to be in charge. I don't want to hurt Aaron's feelings. And Hashem said to Moshe, don't worry, I got a special present for Aaron. Because when I told him that you were going to be in charge, he was happy in his heart. And because he was happy in his heart, he got it to be the Kohen Gadol. And he was going to wear something very special on his heart. We'll talk about it in just a second. So Hashem told Moshe, I want you to gather Aharon and his entire family, and you're going to make them Kohanim. Their job is they're going to live right next to the Mishkan, and they're going to work there every single day. A Kohen Gadol gets to wear eight pieces of clothing. The Hoshen, we'll talk about it. The apron, the cloak with the bells at the bottom, white clothing, pants, you know, a special hat, a belt, and of course, that seats the headband. Aaron would wear these clothing once a year on Yom Kippur. He would first put on an apron. And on the apron, there was two special, they were gold. There was a gold button with diamonds on top of that. And they were such special diamonds, they came from the sky. You couldn't find them anywhere in the world. They came specially from the sky and they were put on Aharon's shoulders. The Avne Shoham. These are the special, special Avne Shoham, the stones of Shoham. They came from the Shammai. Over here on the, on the chest area, right above his heart, was the Hoshen. And for every one of Yaakov's children, Reuven, Shimon, Levi, Hudai, Sachar, Zebulun, Dan, Naftali, Gad, Asher, Yosef, Benjamin, in the order that they were born, they each one had a special color stone. And when any king had a question, they would come up to the Kohen Gadol, they would ask him the question, and the letters would, would light up. And that was Hashem's way of giving an answer. And the Kohen would wear a headband. Now, he would wear his tefillin at all times. And right under it, he would wear a headband that said, Kodesh la Hashem. It was holy for Hashem. And the fa- first of all, it was very, very holy because Hashem, it had Hashem's name on it in gold. But also, whenever the Kohen Gadol would wear it, if there was any mistake that the Jewish people did, Hashem would forgive. Hashem would forgive all mistakes whenever there was the headband that seats on top of the Kohen's head. And of course, this is very, very important for all of us to know, at the bottom of the Kohen Gadol's clothing, there was bells. Now, why are the bells important? Beautiful gold bells. But why were they important? They're very important for us. Because they gave the signal to the other Kohanim, the young Ayur Kohanim, that whenever you hear the bells, that means the rabbi, the Kohen Gadol is walking into the room. And when the rabbi walks into the room, what do we have to do? We have to stand. And that's where we learn from. That's why there was the gold bells at the bottom of the, the Kohen Gadol's clothing. Next, the regular Kohanim, they would wear just four pieces of clothing and they were white. The pants, a cloak, a hat, and a belt. Then Hashem asked Moshe to build a gold mizbeach for spices. Put it right at the entrance of the Mishkan. 
There's the menorah, there's the table we talked about, there's the curtain, and right over here is the mizbeah, the made of gold. It's made of pure gold. There was wood on the inside, gold on the outside. And the Kohen would throw the spices every day and would go up to the sky and would emit a beautiful, beautiful smell. And that was the Kohen Gadol's work. He would light the menorah, he would eat the, 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 the halot, he would give the, the, the spices on the Mizbeah. And that way he would became the rabbi in the Mishkan. And all because, why was Aaron chosen? Because, let's go back to the beginning. Because when he heard that his younger brother got something special, he wasn't jealous. He was happy for his big brother. So we always have to be happy for people. Okay, now, something very interesting about this parasha. In the entire parasha Tetzaveh, you don't have Moshe's name, not even once. It doesn't say Moshe's name. I want you to think about that because in the next, in the next parasha, we're going to discuss that. The entire parasha Tetzaveh, it doesn't say Moshe's name. Let's think about it. And why, why is that? Shalom, Eladim. 